I just hate it here. I think that this is absolutely repulsing. The amount of mouth noises and the double biting and, and eating the amount of food that this individual eats and the dry hair and then everything else, man, the whole aesthetic of this entire situation, it just, it just doesn't feel good to my ears at all. My eyeballs are literally being dried out by looking at this. Like the reflection from my monitor, the light from my monitor hitting my eyeballs is literally offensive to me. I hate this shit. I don't know why so many people love watching jelly bean sweets or people in general overly consume like three or four times the amount of food they're supposed to be eating in a setting but it's just like so incredibly popular it's just like there's so many people nowadays that just love what i mean look at the fucking likes this is a this is a recent video look at the likes look at the comments this is this video got like two million views absolutely astonishing there are so many people out there that just want to watch a woman body slam down an entire chipotle burrito and like 15 bites it's just like it's, it's anomalistic to me i don't know why some people love it is it is it the mouth noises is it the em emulation of like, oh, hashtag my girlfriend got that macaroni and cheese shit? What is it? Like, we're literally watching somebody slowly but surely, uh, you know, expedite the lifespan. And somehow this is like good for people. I just don't understand. I just never understood this shit. Um, maybe you can let me know down below. I guess like you're living by curiously or whatever this shit's called, like through another person and you're noticing their eating habits. So like, I guess you're watching it and you're feeling better about yourself because you're watching somebody else do something ridiculous and that makes you feel better. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the mild noises, but anyway, we're going to do it for you. Gotta do something about the hair, man. Too much dryness in the hair. Maybe it's the lighting, too. I don't know, man. I just, like, I think at this point, just, like, cut it really short. Um, overnight conditioner. Maybe, like, some type of um, diffuser. I don't know, dude. Heat heat protective. Maybe she blow dries her hair. Whitening strips, too, probably. I think that might be beneficial. Dang. It is a beautiful thing that people can make this content nowadays, though. It is pretty great. Um, Jelly Bean Sweets has been in, I think, Taiwan now for, like, literally over a month or maybe even two months, I think, at this point. I think they recently just came back, though. I'm not really sure if they're coming back to America or they're going to somewhere else. I'm not really sure. But um, Jelly Bean Sweets has been literally living abroad for a long time, two, two three months at this point. And it's crazy. I, I, think, I believe the entire reason why they're able to do that is because... They got that hashtag moolah baby, young moolah baby from the TikToks. That's awesome. Uh, I do believe they took off time from school though. And thought, I think I'm pretty sure Jelly Bean Sweets was in college. Uh, I think they just said fuck college. <laughs> took some time off just to make these videos. Uh, they're doing it for you guys. They're doing it for you. Jelly Bean Sweets is a hero making this content. Taking away time from her delicious, delicious college to eat food for you in Taiwan. Chipotle in Taiwan is crazy. You might as well start eating the tinfoil too. Probably get a little bit of extra, a uh, little bit of extra calories from that. I hate it, man. I just don't like it at all. I gotta turn it down, dude. I, I'm sorry. Like the, the mouth noises are just I I intolerable for me. Skin looks good though. Maybe it's a filter. Maybe it's a filter. I can never tell nowadays. It probably is a filter actually. I see too many people nowadays and I get so confused because I look at them like, wow, your skin's so good. But then I see them in another shot. I'm like, ooh, your skin is, <gasps> what happened? It's because they're using filters and they're smoothing down literally every single thing on their face. You just can't actually see the the real identification of their face. So I wouldn't even be surprised. I think it is actually, is a, I think it is a filter, bro. Yeah, whatever, man. It's a filter, yeah. You can tell. Should probably filter out that burrito, man. Filter that shit right in the trash. <sighs> Damn, man. The double bites are always so dusty for me. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. Swallow what you got. This is everything I ate on my China Airlines business class flight. First, they gave us this juice, which I think was guava, but I wasn't a big fan of it. Then they gave us this fruit and nut mix, which was like almost all raisins. Hair dry as hell. To start the meal, they brought out the appetizer, which included lobster salad, fresh salad with vinaigrette dressing, and lots of bread. Did you eat this all of it? This first bread was the jasmine. That bread does look pretty good. There's something aesthetic about it. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like bread, if that makes any sense. It just kind of looks like, I don't even know, man. It looks like a tile on somebody's roof. 
kind of looks a little bit good. You know when you look at a Tide Pod, you kind of think that and you smell it and you go, I bet this would taste good if it didn't taste good. Tea, orange bread, it was so soft and I really enjoyed it. An elixir? The salad was very simple, but it was also very fresh and I loved the cute little vinaigrette dressing. The lobster salad was pretty good, but it was served cold and I think if it was served warm, it actually would have tasted better. Okay. Food connoisseur right here from Jelly Bean Sweets. Obviously, she knows exactly what she's talking about, even though literally her entire resume consists of her eating literal slop. I don't even know why she's complaining about this shit at this point. She's going to eat it, so. And they brought out even more bread. I think my favorite was this garlic bread. I, I just never understood people eating so many appetizers before the meal comes. I, I understand, like, you, you want that meal before the meal. Why, though? Like, aren't you, like, literally destroying your appetite for the meal that's about to come? Or maybe I'm just wrong. I don't get appetizers because I think they're irrelevant. I also don't get desserts because I think irrelevant. I think they're irrelevant as well. I only really enjoy the food that comes to my mouth in terms of the meal itself. Usually consists of a cheeseburger and fries. Because I'm basic. I'm a basic bitch. But never call me basic. You already know. I don't have an iPhone. So buttery. They also Ugh. brought out a hearts of palm and bamboo fungus chicken soup. This is my first time trying bamboo fungus. Bamboo fungus, huh? Sometimes I think like, why are we eating fungus? And I understand that there might be some like nutritional, you know, maybe it's like forbidden in the sense of like you're getting goodness in it. Maybe it's something I'm not, I'm missing. I wouldn't eat fungus, bro. Fuck that. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I liked it. The texture was a little odd, but it tasted good. Then came the main dish, which I chose the filet mignon with truffle butter and mustard sauce served it's with not tomato bad. gratin, pan fried potatoes, and seasoned vegetables. How long vegetables. is this fucking flight, bro? How many meals did you get? This was my first time having a filet mignon, and I enjoyed it, but I wish it was cooked a little longer. Seasonal vegetables That's were crazy. pretty good, but I will say the potato was slightly undercooked and a little harder than I like. The tomato gratin was good, but I don't think I'm a fan of cooked tomatoes. Damn, like, you literally didn't like anything there then. Everything was like literally, it's not that good. It's all right. It could have been this. It could have been that. Came a plate of seasonal fruit. Obviously, you got to get the cake as well. I don't know why they make cake look so, like, it looks aesthetically pleasing. But, like, does anybody give a fuck if it looks good like this? Like, I get presentation, but this is overboard. And Brian Asago cheese. In my opinion, I think the Asago paired best with the Apple fruit. Apple looks good. How many Even spoons and forks do you need? It's kind of crazy. You choose between haagen ice cream or this beautiful raspberry lemon cake. So, of course, I chose the raspberry lemon cake. The presentation alone was amazing, and it was probably one of the best pieces of cake Damn. I've had. Because this was an 11-hour flight, they also served us breakfast. The did you not sleep on any of this flight, or did you just, like, eat the entire way? I wouldn't be surprised if she ate the entire way. I mean, you're getting, is it free food? You're in business class? I'm guessing they give you free food, or at least, like, it's complimentary with the the plane ticket that you get i'm not really sure i've never taken any flight with the exception of coach um or economy because i'm hashtag broke bitch like what the fuck do you want from me i'm not spending like 500 600 on a fucking flight what are you talking about i'm getting it for the cheapest i possibly can that i chose included soybean milk richer muesli bread again whole wheat bread with walnuts and almond croissant seasonal fruits Jesus. and then pan fried salmon served with truffle scrambled egg on i would just said like yeah i got a lot i got a lot of food it was a lot of food and you know i ate that shit english muffin and then more seasonal vegetables. I think my favorite was probably the soybean milk. She just kind of looks depressed. Like, she just kind of looks like she doesn't want to be here. This looks so sad seeing her eat this much. Birch or muesli, even though I still have no idea what that was. But I really enjoyed the taste. She holds a lot of weight in her wrists, I've seen. Like, it's, it's so inflated. Maybe, like, water retention, probably. There's probably some water retention there. The English muffin was a bit soggy. But then the salmon and the eggs were actually really good. And then, even though it wasn't shown on the menu, they also gave us french fries, which were a lot softer than I like, so they weren't my favorite. They also came around and asked if we wanted any coffee or tea, but I don't really drink coffee or tea. You don't drink coffee or tea, but you eat everything? Alright, I guess. Coffee or tea? Not even coffee? Regular coffee would be okay. So I tea? Eh. In my opinion, when I, whenever somebody says that like, you want tea, I always think of tea as like the gay coffee. Now, I get it. It's not. It's not. And it's like a luxurious drink or whatever. But I would always prefer coffee every single time, naturally, uh, because I am a coffee drinker. With an orange juice, and I really liked it. It wasn't too tart, and it was just the right amount of sweetness. And that was all I ate on my 11-hour business class flight. I am Sorry, there's a fly in here, and it's attracted to the light I have right here, so. So excited. Chili's invited me out to try their triple dipper with their... You guys can't see at the bottom right. Uh, sorry, the bottom left. It, did say, it does say paid partnership, so... Uh, I guess 
Arby's or sorry, Chili's flew them out or got them to come here to try out their new menu items, which is a good deal for her because you get free food. Hair doesn't look that bad here. Hair looks pretty good, actually. I like the hair a lot here. But this is a paid sponsorship, so they have to say everything good. I mean, I hope they have the ability to go, well, it's not that good or, you know, give an honest review of the food. But if we're talking about jelly bean sweets, who, who the fuck is coming to jelly bean sweets for a food review? Nobody. Literally nobody. The majority of their content is literally them just body slamming whatever the fuck is in front of them without a care in the world. Double, triple, quadruple bites. So if you're coming to Jelly Bean Sweets for an honest and goodness food review, why? That's stupid. That's not that why. There's like nothing there. There's no, there's no, uh, uh, there's nothing here that would give you any indication of what the food actually tastes like. It's all, let me just throw it in my mouth as fast as I humanly can. I need Chipotle fried mozzarella. These look so good. So let's dig in. So let's go in for the honey Chipotle fried mozzarella first. Get a good dip on the ranch. It looks uncomfortable for the hand. Like any food that requires me to pick it up with my fingers like this, I just don't, I, I've never appreciated it because I know my fingers are going to get disgusting and messy and horrible and all this other stuff. And I don't really wash my hands to begin with. And uh, I don't like wash my hands. I just don't. I know a lot of people sit there and go, Dave, you're gross. You're disgusting. If I don't have to wash my hands, I'm not going to wash my hands. And I usually put myself in positions where I never need to wash my hands. Now, if I'm handling money, which is very few and far between, or if I'm grabbing onto somebody's doorknob, and I promise that's not a euthanism for grabbing onto somebody's penis, if I'm doing any of that stuff, then I'll wash my hands. I usually wash my hands like three or four times in a day. I know that's probably not enough for most people, because people give me shit all the time for it, and they go, David, you're gay. David, you're gay. You don't wash your hands. Oh my God, you don't wash your legs. Washing your legs is different than not washing your hands. There's almost no need to ever wash your, ne your, your legs or your feet, because like, why would you? But if I need to hold food like this, I would prefer to have like a barrier between it. So like a napkin or something like that. I'm just not dirty like that. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just different. Maybe you guys are different than me. Let me know down below. Am I weird? Oh, her mouth was like, it had white stuff in it. Ugh. Drink more water, jelly bean. Hair looks good though. I don't care. Oh my God. I, I don't care about the, the cheese pull. It, it never was really that important to me personally. I know a lot of people that really, really obsess over the cheese pull. I never have. I don't really give a fuck about that shit. I know a lot of people sit there and say that it's the best ever. How? Why? It's fermented cow titty milk that you can pull on. Um, God forbid it ever gets in your hair, especially if you get really long hair. That is insane, y'all. Damn, the technique's sauce crazy. sauce on this is so good, too. Yeah. Mm. It's gonna bite here. Damn. Kind of going crazy right now. Oh my god! It, it can't be that good. And what's even the purpose of having these as a hidden menu item? Isn't the goal to like literally have all the things on the menu so that way you can order the shit instead of having like a novelty item? Like, what, what do I have to do? Like, put in a cheat code, suck off the suck off the bartender, and suck off the dude that's coming to tend my table, and in, in order to properly unlock the the hidden menu item? Like, what do I got to do? A chicken tender here. Dip it in the ranch. Ugh. I don't like ranch, man. So good. You're in public. And then of course, we got their slider. You know that? You're in public right now. Really let that sink in, okay? You're in fucking public. Act like you know what you're doing. Act like you got some type of sense. Oof. Oh my god. It's like the way she opens her mouth is I forbidden. I should definitely come out to try Chili's new honey chipotle fried mozzarella. These are so good. They're a little sweet and a little spicy. Y'all really need to try Damn. A box to yourself? Oh my god. What is that face? It's wet. Ugh. If your pizza is not like held up by its own structural capacity, then I don't want to eat that shit. It's wet. It's, it's really wet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would body that shit, obviously. I would put that shit in my mouth whether it was wet or not. But... I'm not really prepared to eat pizza like this if it's not. Like, I'm not ordering pizza like that. I might fuck up on an initial order if it's, like, a new place and I never had them before. But if I'm eating pizza, though, that shit's got to be crusty. That shit's got to be real, 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 uh, the undercarriage got to be real stiff. And I don't know. I just really like it. I like it when it's, um, I like it when it's really, really hard on the butt. Hold up now. Hold up. Hold up now. Hold up. I like it when it's, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Nothing gay about that. Ugh. It's falling apart. This is a, this is a this is a problem with this pizzas like that. Is it just falls apart in your mouth? Um, and it's not even the good kind of stuff that falls apart in your mouth. Not like penis, dude. Come on, dude. Like, what are you looking? What are you talking about, man? What are you What are you saying right now? Not penis. Not falling apart in your mouth like like penis, bro. I mean, like brisket or like uh, chicken or something like that. Yeah. 
It looks undercooked. Ugh, she got to drink more water, dude. Marinate your mouth, dude. Let the water touch your tongue, man. There's, not, there's nothing really inherently bad about letting water touch your lips. Just a little bit. Let the water touch your mouth. Dirty. Dirty. Disg oh, my God. Sticking out the tongue to get it in your mouth? Insane. Damn. Crazy. Slow down. There's no sauce on that. Dude, a whole box to yourself? Dirty, bro. Dirty. Disgusting. Fermented cheese, bro. All over your mouth. Why do, why do so many people like this shit? I just, I'll never understand it, dude. Too many people out here literally watching this woman devour copious amounts of foods like this. I just, I just don't get it, bro. Why? Why is that? Damn. God damn. Whew. It's kind of going crazy right now. What's the drink again? Oh, the Sprite? She had the Sprite? Damn. Nah, bro. That's not good. That's, that's disgusting. Feel bad, dude. Feel bad for yourself. Everything I ate at Sushi Row in Taiwan. Of course, to start, I got my favorite apple soda. The first thing Damn. I got was the tuna salad. Sushi Row puts a good amount of mayo in it, which I definitely enjoy. Damn, bro. She's really going for that salad. shit. Damn, her skin looks really irritated here. Almost kind of like what she's eating is disagreeing with her, like on an emotional level as well. Which usually I'm a fan of, but today it was just okay. Okay, Next three was or the four. Damn, bro. Cheese, which was is this favorite. all you can eat? The salmon literally melts in your mouth. Then I got the Japanese fried chicken. I was too impatient, so they were really hot, but they were really good with the lime and mayo. Okay, come on, dude. Damn, and I got three of those? Classic salmon, which was pretty good. This next one was the chopped tuna scallion, which I was not the biggest fan of. But you still body slammed that shit, right? Look at the face. Look at the face. It wasn't good at all, but you know I bodied that shit. You know I threw it right in my mouthpiece. I needed that shit deep in my throat. I needed to body slam that shit. Otherwise, how was I going to be satisfied? My mouth was craving it and my stomach wasn't. Sure. I love the tuna rolls so much, so I got a second plate of a it. Second plate of the tuna rolls. Dang, how many plates did you get? Do they have to put it on the same? Can they put it on the same plate, or does it have to be on individual plates like it is right here on the right? Like, why, why do they do that? I also got a second plate of the broiled salmon with cheese. Ooh. These two are definitely my favorite. And Damn. I one, which I liked, but I wish the piece of the fish weren't so thick. This ice cream was sweet potato and milk flavor. Ice cream the too, huh? sweet potato huh? wasn't too strong, and I think the combo really worked. Then, to end the meal off, I got another plate of- What do you mean to end it off? I thought the ice cream ended it off, man. It's a never-ending food! Never-ending food with jelly bean sweets, and I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of watching this woman. All she does all day is eat copious amounts of food, and I'm, I'm sick of it. I just don't like it. I personally don't like watching her eat all that food. I, I thoroughly disagree with the mouth noises, which is one of the reasons I got to turn her down. Her skin seems really irritated in this clip. It kind of looks like maybe she's under really bad lighting. I'm not really sure, but it looks really uncomfortable for the eyes. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, um, leave it down below by typing in... <sighs> Aunt Jemima. She needs some she needs some representation tonight, okay? Aunt Jemima's, as you guys can see, representation for where it matters. And the Aunt Jemima's need the representation. They're beautiful, beautiful women. Uh, chocolate women. Well, technically not chocolate, but, you know, tree serp ladies. And we represent for the tree serp ladies out here, showing our solidarity as much as we possibly can. And uh, I love that. I love that. And you know what I love else? Yeah, I love you. I love your diet routine. I love your ability to floss your teeth and brush your tongue because that's really important, by the way. When your tongue has wetness or not wetness sorry the white on your tongue that means that it's got disgusting on it and that's bad but i'm happy that your tongue doesn't i'm happy that you chose to brush your tongue to ensure that it was good and hydrated and cleansed up that's amazing you smell good today too by the way nice aura about you good feng shui uh, if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys